Hey, welcome back everybody. This is week two in our graphic design course. This week we are going to use Canva to create a poster. I'm calling it the My Life poster, as you can see here. I've even given you a sample. I went ahead and created this project myself. It's my quarantine life. It's got a background uh, image in the very back of the poster, and then it's got three other pictures. I would like it if you could take your own pictures using your own camera uh, uh, that you have on your phone or some other camera you might have around the house. If you can take your own pictures, that's best. But if you can't, for whatever reason, take your own pictures, then just use the pictures that are on Canva. Canva is great because it provides lots of really great professional level designs and photographs to use. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do this week. You're gonna create a personalized poster on Canva. You're going to be able to share your work to the rest of the class and also turn it in on Moodle. This particular assignment is due at the end of the week. It's due on Friday. That would be May 1st. And make sure you get it turned in by then. One thing I want you to note in this video is near the end, I'm going to show you two different ways you need to turn in this assignment. I still want you to upload it to Canva as we did last week, but I also want you to do a second step, and that is to upload your finished design to Moodle. You'll download a JPEG and upload it to Moodle. I'll show you that later in this video. Again, you do have to have an account on Canva and in the Moodle assignment here, it does go over again how to create that account. If you've already done this once, you don't have to do it again. But if you haven't yet created your account on Canva, please click this link and it will bring you to our Canva homepage. Okay, when you first get into the Canva homepage, which first thing you're going to do is click on the Create a Design button and then search for the word poster. That's going to give you two options, portrait view and landscape view of a poster. I'm going to choose portrait view. I click on that and once it loads, you can see there's all kinds of professional designs along the left. You are free to just choose one of those pre-designed templates and then change out the pictures and the words to whatever you want it to be. I decided I didn't want to do that, however. I'm going to show you another way to do it, and that is I'm going to design this from scratch myself. The first thing I want to do is add a background image to the poster. And so I'm going to go over to the left-hand side of the toolbar, click on the Photos button. This is going to give me access to a bunch of photos. Uh, a lot of my life has been spent doing my watercolor painting, so I'm typing in the word watercolor, and I see watercolor background. That's, that's exactly what I want. All kinds of really cool designs here. And um, once I find something that I like, I can just click on it and it goes ahead and it places it over here on the right hand side in Canva. Now I, I want it to match the format of my paper. So I'm going to use the rotate button here and just rotate it around to 90 degree rotation and then use the corner handles to drag it until it's big enough and that it fills my entire space. All right. So now I've got my background on there. The next thing I want to do is uh, coming down the list on the left, I want to add some text. So I click on the T here for text and um, just click on add a heading, for example, and uh, I can move it around. And again, I call this my quarantine life. Now we see it doesn't quite fit in there, so I can make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, once I get my text all set up the way I want it, I'm ready to move on to my pictures. Again, I'm asking that you take pictures of your real life. If you can, uh, then you'll need to upload them into Canva, uh, which I'm going to show you now. If you can't take your own pictures for whatever reason, that's okay. You can just go back to the photo section and search through using the search terms up here, any kind of picture you want. I'm going to show you though, however, how I'm going to actually upload my pictures. Come down here to the uploads section. And again, one of the things I've been doing a lot is uh, painting in watercolor. So I'm going to upload two of my pictures that I actually painted this week. So here under uploads, I'm going to click on the blue button, upload an image. That's going to open a dialog where I can then go ahead and choose the picture I want. Here's my picture of daisies. I open it. It will load over on the left hand side. Once it's done loading, I can click on it. As soon as I click on it on the left, it shows up on the right. And now I can place it somewhere in my design for my poster resize it, and now I'm ready to upload the next picture. This, by the way, is a really cool picture that I did. I think it's cool anyways. It's a picture of a Skagit Valley barn. Maybe this is near where you live, and I painted this recently. 
One thing you can also do if you find that an image is below another image, you can right click on it and choose bring forward or bring to front and that will rearrange the ordering of the different pictures as you see I just did. Last but not least, I'm going to add this one more picture. I had previously uploaded that so it's available for me. And now I can resize it. This is actually a picture of my workspace in my studio. There you go. I've got a poster and I'm ready to turn it in. One other thing I want to do, however, before we go any further is I want to show you how to save your work. For example, up here, it might be called whatever you typed in the text area. And I don't want it to say that for the file name. So please follow this convention instead. Please first put the lesson number or week number. We're in week two. So put a two, then put your last name, then go ahead and put your first name. Then put either blue one or blue two. Those are the two graphic design class periods I have. So if I was in the blue one period, blue one or blue two. That way I'll know which lesson I'm looking at, what your name is, and which class period you're in because I'm getting so many assignments turned in, I can't keep them straight. Hit enter once you've done that. And now it's that is the name. That's really important up there to name it properly. Again, as I said earlier, there's two ways I want you to turn it in. The first one is to share it from Canva. You click on the share button up here and you will see this first icon here, KD, Krista Bruns team. That's the one you want to share it to. You'll see an eyeball. It looks like this. You click on that and you choose can view. The entire team, including myself, can now view it and I can grade it. The second way I want you to, to turn this project in is to download it from Canva and then upload it to Moodle. So here's the download button. Click that. It'll ask you what kind of file you want it to be. Please always choose JPEG, small size, file size image. Okay, so always make sure you change this to JPEG. And then you can, you might have to, in this case, it's a pretty big file. You might have to actually reduce it as small as you can to the left on size. And then go ahead, always leave it at 80% quality and then click download. It will go ahead and download it. Okay, it probably will ask you where you want to download it. And I'm going to just go ahead and download it straight to my desktop just for uh, ease of finding it. And it should have the same name that you gave it earlier and then hit save. All right, let's switch over to Moodle where we'll now turn it in by uploading it. Okay, now I'm ready to do step two of the turn in process. Step two is to upload the file that you just created from Canva and upload it to Moodle. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click add submission. You have to scroll back down to the bottom of the page. Go ahead and click in here, click choose file. I saved it to my desktop. I'm going to find the file right there, open it. Don't put anything in the save as box, but simply upload that file and then you'll see it there. And uh, it should be as long as it's under one megabyte, it should be able to be turned in. If you save it as a JPEG file, you shouldn't have any problems. Click on save changes and you're done. Okay. That's our assignment for this week. You're making a my life poster using canva.com and I hope you have fun with this. Hopefully you can use your own pictures. I can't wait to see what you create. See you next week.